Well, there it is, Witty Warcraft here. Hello there, welcome to another episode of Tales from the Smithy, covering the article from Blizzard Entertainment on their news page, blizzard.com. We have Reforging the Orcs, a rugged, hardy people known for unbridled ferocity in combat. The Orcs of Warcraft 3 dress in simple furs and spiky hide armor. When reforging the heroes and units of the Orc Army, the Warcraft 3 Reforged art team strove to capture their raw strength and felorious battle scars. Our artists take the epic quest to add to the hallowed pantheon of orc heroes as a sacred one, says lead producer Pete Stilwell. The challenge is to do justice to millions of players who know every tusk, whisker, and wrinkle on their faces. Heroes. Samaru, Blademaster. Blademasters from the Burning Blade clan are the orcish horde's most skilled and seasoned warriors. Warcraft 3 Reforged introduces... Multiple models for the Blade Master, including the white haired version, uh, no, white haired veteran Samaru, who assists Thrall and Rexar in Frozen Thrones single player orc campaign, and a hulking chaos orc. Though the art team has taken great pains to ensure that the silhouettes of both Blade Masters are recognizable so that players can understand the foes they face at a glance. So, I agree with Samaru, he's more similar, as you can see, because the art model there is pretty much spot on. There is definitely similarities between the two, just uh, more detail on the left. And less in the way of armor plating than is in the current Blade Master model that you can pick up as a melee character. There's a lot of shoulder pattery going on and uh, I think armbands that sometimes makes the model a little bit larger than life in many aspects and makes it kind of hard to appreciate the simplicity that was with the original Orc Blade Master. Drekfar, Farseer, these powerful shamans ride into battle astride Snow White Woofs. Yes, that's right, Woofs. Particularly uh, attention was paid to replicating the decorative feathers that came to define the blind Farseer Drekfar's garb in World of Warcraft. Drekfar serves an important role, both in Warcraft 3's Orc single-player campaign and in multiplayer, where, as the Farseer hero unit has, his spell casting abilities can be put to devastating effect. So you can see the left model, the right model, definitely try to keep that as simple as possible. Left model's definitely got a lot more um, in the way of decoration, feathers, hair, that kind of stuff. Uh, interesting weapon from Drekfar, as opposed to the original sort of small staff that the uh, Drekfar model character currently has. Nice uh, colouring though. Definitely quite vibrant. Cairn Bloodhoof, Tauren Chieftain. Elder Tauren leaders, uh, sorry. Elder Tauren warriors lead their tribes in daily life as well as a battle. The Tauren Chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof was instrumental in the Orcs, Orcish Horde survival during Warcraft 3's single player Orc campaign. As with many heroes, multiple Tauren Chieftain models will be available in multiplayer. Yay, multiple ones. Significant detail has been added to each model's twin totems and ceremonial warblade. I love the original model so much. New model looks a little bit too ragged in the face. He's supposed to be an older character though, in all fairness, so I can understand going with that aspect of it, but kind of miss the original. The weapon's kind of cool though, but it's not the same one as uh, Cairn currently harbors. I think it's more World of Warcraft related, the weapon he's currently got over here. Fulgin and Rohan, Shadow Hunter. Reclusive, mysterious Shadow Hunters support the Horde with cunning Fudu magic. Troll Shadow Hunters like Fulgin and Rohan are powerful allies to the Orcish Horde in Warcraft 3 single player campaigns. Rokan's reforged model retains his signature beard but gains an imposing mask and more detailed wooden armor. Fulgin's reforged model adds fearsome war paint fitting of a dark spear chieftain. Yeah, Fulgin's a bit of a larger than life character in World of Warcraft, more so than I think he was in the original Warcraft 3. So they've given him more of a fleshed out meaty look to add a bit extra power to him. Still looks mega old there, which he should have looked younger in a way. Because in War World of Warcraft, he looks well young, really. Units. Grunts are the courageous backbone of the Orcish Horde. When it came to came time to reforge the Orc army, the art team began with the most fundamental Orc unit, the Grunt. 
Modeling this iconic warrior laid the groundwork for everything else. For inspiration, the team turned to the 2012 World of Warcraft Mr. Pandaria cinematic trailer. Yeah, that was very obvious to see. I actually quite like that trailer for a lot of reasons at the same time. There was issues with that trailer, but um, it was sort of like a... I think it was the humor aspect of it was pretty awesome between the human and the uh, orc character. The origin of our whole look was the stylized realism of Mr. Pandaria. It says lead environmentalist artist, uh, environment artist Dave Berggren. The artistic direction is clear when you examine the Grunt's new model, which features stylized colors and proportions, but realistic flesh, clothing, and metal textures. So yeah, the new model is a lot more sort of rounded in aspects, very chunky in other areas. So his hands are freaking enormous, and uh, his shoulders are quite large. Legs slightly smaller in an aspect, but it gives more weight to the larger frame that he bears up at the top. Shaman. Orc shamans are dependable spellcasters who draw their power from the natural world. When reforging the shaman's model, the art team sought to balance the number of bones and other details are against the need for an instantly recognizable silhouette. So the, the new shaman does look quite incredible as well, but... It's one of those cases where it almost looks a little bit too detailed. The old shaman has a very simple look, but at the same time, it's really classy. The new model, I think, might have a little bit too much going on in the armband area and shoulder pad, which can lead to a bit of distraction, as well as the garb that he's wearing underneath. But there's some nice touches there, like the tusks that wrap around the waist. I quite like that. And the symbol on the front. So, helps with the colouring scheme at least. We hope that you enjoyed this look at the Reforged Orcs. Want to see more of the new models? Check out our previews of the Night Elves, Undead and Humans!